Ooh, today we're learning stalls. Stall, 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 stall. What up, Flo fam? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lux Luminous, and today we're jumping into the fun world of stalls. It is a wonderful beginner trick. Any water can do it, or can you? Well, that's why you're here, aren't you? So you can learn how to do it. And I'm gonna teach you. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. Ooh, my goodness, my friends, I am super excited to teach these tricks today, even though I'm a little sad that Lovey Tober is over and we're back to our normal pastel, you know, living life self. Aww. But it's okay, you know, there's always next year. And make sure you're tuning in next year for that Lovey Tober goodness. But of course, you know, I am still going to announce last week's winner at the end of the video. So make sure you're watching until the end. So today I jumped on the wand page and I asked what the wanders would like to learn from me today. And a wander that I know was like, hey, you know, I actually have problems with stalls. I'm like, you know what? Stalls are pretty tricky. Let's do a tutorial on that. And if you are not on the Levitation Forum on Facebook, you should go ahead and add yourself. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go and, and find it. But of course, before we jump into things, we gotta pay the bills. So we have the Wizards of the Channel. And the Wizards of the Channel are Flow Toys, Astro Hoops, Matrix Fire Safety, Fun and Motion Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, Flow DNA, and Flow on Fire. Woo! Thanks, friends. <laughs> And of course, this channel is brought to you by my beautiful, my lovely, my amazing Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, you can head on over to my Patreon, where you can become a member. But if you don't want to become a Patreon member and you still want to help support the channel, you can head on over to my website, where I have lots of fun floor arts related clothing and every single bit of money raised goes directly into funding this channel. So that way I can keep bringing you more content. Alrighty fam, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, friends, so the first stall that we're gonna go over is the basic stall. And it looks like this. Still, still. All right, so with most things with Lovey Wand, it is a very delicate thing. It's not like a whole lot of aggression to like do the thing to get it to stall. It's a simple, very soft thing. So, you know, you're in regular Lovey Wand mode and all of a sudden you're just going to Stop. Okay, that is that's literally it. Just stop. And when you do that, because um, the lovey one has some momentum, I kind of like, like brace it a little bit. It's hard to kind of explain, but I'll kind of I'll bring it up and then I'll like, I don't, I don't know how to explain that. And another thing is that I have the string over my fingers here, so when I stall, it's like this. Okay. So that works with uh, finger loops as well as ball handles. You know, you can do it very softly and very slowly, um, or you could do, you know, you're doing all these kind of crazy stuff and then <gasps> stall. So the thing with it, like when you're doing this, is getting the lovey wand not to move. So it's kind of like you are bracing um, kind of the momentum when you're going up and then you just like stop the wand and just make sure that you're not moving and it's not moving. And that's gonna take a little bit of practice. Just go over and over and over and over again and you should eventually have it. It also is very important that you have a well-balanced wand. If the wand itself is wonky, when you go into the balance, it's just gonna wonk all over the place. Oh, I like that, wonk all over the place. That is my new thing. Describing lovey wand wonkiness, just wonking all over the place. Wonking, that wand is wonking. All right, well, <laughs> this is a tangent. So what I want you to do is just kind of practice stalling in all the spots around you. So stall here, stall here, stall here, stall here. And kind of like make a box around yourself or like, you know, any anywhere, just kind of like practice just like stalling and stopping the wand. Okay, so there is another way that you can do a basic stall and that is an overstall. And it looks like this. Oh, it kind of like kind of gets stuck there. So when you're levy wanding, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just kind of scoop it up and over, scoop up, boom, boom, 
Shibi. Boom. Just like that. And if you add the uh, sound effects, it uh, definitely helps. Shibi. Shibi. So the up and over stall might be something that you recognize from some of the choreographed pieces I've done, but I love like getting my knee and my leg in there to really emphasize the, the stall. It's something fun that you can mess around with. All right, to the next stalls. To the next stalls, to the walls. So the next trick we're gonna learn is a string stall. And that technique you use for the behind the back stall, which you may already know, but if you don't know, we're gonna learn it right now. And it looks like this. Oh, ooh, so nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this trick. And the way to get into it is what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around your body in a clockwise direction and you're gonna reach behind your back. So once the lovey wand has gotten here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of pull the, like push the string back. All right, so I'm gonna do that in slow motion for you. Uh, so that way you can see what's going on because it's a little hard to just do slowly for you right now. So go slow. All right, so we're gonna go behind our back we're gonna brace the string and send it back. So when you do that, you're also gonna twist your body. So twist, all right, you get that twist, twist. And depending on how easily you're able to like get your arms behind your back, you might need to twist a lot. So maybe you like twist. And that's totally okay. You know, if you gotta get that twist in there, twist it away. So the thing with this trick when you're first learning it is that the lovey one is gonna come back and hit you and it's gonna look like this. Ugh. Okay, so you don't want that. So the way to avoid that, again, gotta get that twist in there. All right, so we're gonna twist it. So you're bracing the momentum and sending it back. Oh, send that shit back. All right, so I'm gonna show you from behind. So it's coming behind my back. Twisting, sending it back, okay? Twisting, sending it back. Okay, that's a pretty sweet uh, string stall. Let's move on to another one. All right, so the next trick we're gonna learn is the under the leg stall. And it looks like this. Oh, all right. So this one's a little bit different. So it is stalling, but you're going to be using your hand to trap it. It's technically a two point trap. Technically, but it's a stall. All right, so the way that we're gonna get into this is we're gonna pendulum back and forth, and we're gonna lift our non-dominant leg up on the upswing, so the lovey wand's gonna go under, so shoop. And as that happens, I'm gonna get my hand in between the string, and I'm gonna trap it there. But then I'm gonna let it go, send it back. Oh, nice, right? So it's gonna go under the leg, shoop, and then back out. So I'll show you one more time, under the leg, and back out. So when it's going under my leg, I'm tr I'm getting my fingers through the string and trapping it like this, okay? So it's like that, and then it comes back out. Alrighty, friends, so I hope that answers some stall questions and gets you on the path to more lovey wand things. But before we end things today, we're finding out who won the last prize for Levy Tober. All right, editing Lux, take it away. Well, thank you very much, filming Lux. All right, friends, let's find out who won the last giveaway for Levy Tober of 2021. Let's go. Ooh, and the winner is Richard Garrard. Yes, my friend, you just won yourself a matrix blanket and $150 to Pyroterra. Use it wisely. Get a levy wand. Thanks, Editing Lux. Oh, I am so excited for you to have these gifts. They're so cool. You're gonna have to like take pictures when you get them. Love it. Well, friends, if you're new or lurking, welcome to the wand life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, always leave me a comment down below and I will help you out. See you all on the wand side.